What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Maneater. We are flipping back into another episode and uh, we're hungry baby. We are going to be moving on to a new location today. Sapphire Bay. Let's go see what the uh, what the new, new place has to offer for us. Now obviously at the start of a new episode here I do owe you guys a shark fact. So I, I want to put things into perspective. Obviously sharks are, are these big scary creatures. At least that's what we've been told to think through movies and media and stuff like that. Last year, there were 64 unprovoked shark attacks. I think there were 140 total. So, you know, 64 people either swimming or, or surfing or just waiting in the water, didn't do anything to the shark, weren't messing with the shark, but they got attacked. Of those 64 attacks, only two of them Sapphire were Bay's fatal. Famous Pier One provides visitors with plenty of skee-ball, popcorn shrimp, and elegantly airbrushed t-shirts. Nice. All right. So we're going to be terrorizing some uh, some tourists today. Ooh, look at the giant yacht over here. We've got a uh, we've got a license plate on top of it. There's a cruise ship back behind it. We've got all kinds of boats going by some sort of a boardwalk as well. All right. This is this is going to be fun. I'm looking forward to this. I kind of want to try to want to try to eat some rich people here. Look at the people on this yacht. Get out of here. I'm a shark. Let's go. Okay, well, your swimming pool is a little small. I don't know that I'm gonna. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to do much with that. I'll try to get up top here. Come on. Come on. No, dude, we had it. Shoot. We were having to use the people as ways to get up. Otherwise, I don't think we're gonna be able to be able to get all the way up top. Let me see if we can. Oh no, we might be able to. Okay. Oh, hello. Beautiful. All the way up here on the the bridge. Fly bridge. Go ahead and take all these guys out. We'll, we'll let one live just so we can tell the tale of, uh, of what happened. But yeah, speaking about that fact there, that's crazy, right? I think on average, every year there are uh, four, four deaths, four unprovoked deaths due to shark attacks. I mean, these things aren't that scary. They, they're, they're just as scared of you as you are of them. You know, usually these unprovoked attacks are, are kind of accidental. They think you're a seal. They think you're, you know, a big fish, something, you know, kind of floating along the top of the water. They come up, they take a bite. They realize that you're not as fatty and meaty as they expected you to be. And then they go on about their way. That's usually how the attacks work. So it's, uh, it, it's not something to, to be too scared of next time you're out there in the ocean. So anyway, we made it to our new, our new grotto here. Ooh, looks like we've got a fishing boat. We've got lots of interesting things, lots of fishing boats, I guess. I'm kind of excited about this new area because we're actually out at sea. As you guys saw as we were coming in here, it's really wide open. Like there, there's a lot of just open water, which is exciting. You know, as a, a, a adult bull shark now, we can be pretty confident that we're, we're one of the tougher beings in this area, but at the same time, we can't be 100% sure. You always have to keep your eye out. We could be looking at some great whites and stuff out here. These turtles, I feel bad. You guys know how I feel about turtles, but they're giving us that, that good blue-blue stuff. Blue crystals, which can be kind of hard to find. We've got seals all over the place, babies and adults. All kinds of cool stuff happening. So let's see what our, our first... Ooh, we've got a couple of things up here. I have to get a running, running start here. Let's see if we can... Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, we're... Kind of close, I guess. Dude, can we get up there? Hold on a second. Come on. Imagine seeing a shark. There we go. We got it. Imagine not even seeing the shark. You never saw nothing, bro. There we go. Okay. Kind of had to work out a little bit there. Let's go see what this is. Mothership. Looks like Mama Maybell's boys are out on another yachting jaunt. Destroy the target. Oh, great whites. And Makos. Are you kidding me, bro? I knew we were going to have great whites out here. Looks like there's a giant fishing net, too. Yo. I kind of want to fight him. Is he going to fight us? Oh, he's he's going to fight us. He's going to fight us. Old Jaws out here. Let's see what you got, bro. Look at that swimming away. One of the most terrifying animals on planet Earth here. Coming after us. And we're fighting back, baby. We're fighting back. Love to see it. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. 
This is a battle for the ages, bro. They're gonna show this on Discovery Channel. I want great whites some... have never successfully been bred or kept in captivity. Though that doesn't stop my brother-in-law Randy from trying. Oh my gosh, dude, he keeps getting us. There we go. Finally dodged him. Now hunters are after us. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, we took his we took everything off. He's running, he's running, he's running. <laughs> look at that stubby little tail. We got one good look at him. One good hit, and he takes off. Let's go, baby. Time to finish him out. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Oh my goodness. I want some, like, British, very masculine voice actor to, to voice over that fight right there. That was amazing. Try to grab the seal. Dude, the seals are so quick. I struggle with it, but I guess once we latch on, that's a lot of, a lot of flubber there. Easy access. We're not gonna, gonna let those things go. Got one of the hunters. Woo! Just watched your friend die. Hope you enjoyed it. Fish slime or other fish awful. It's best to keep it inside the vessel. Founder of America's largest shark finning enterprise, Mama Maybell Bryant has collected quite a fleet of recreational boats. Her fail sons, Randall and Tyson, can often be spotted piloting them around Sapphire Bay. All right, so we're gonna be taking down a, a you know nasty shark hunting finning type business. That's good. That makes me happy. Ooh, what the heck? Whoa, 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 whoa! What is this? What is this? What is this? A marlin, a hunted marlin. All right, these guys are nasty. That's for sure. But we should be able to the get them. Marlin is a highly migratory species. This one used to live in Palo Alto, so the real estate market became completely unaffordable. <laughs> That, that pesky real estate market, bro. All right, this guy is redonkulously fast. I'm trying to hit it, there we go. Stunned him a little bit so we can do a little, a little chomping. Marlin of error, we got that. Now we're gonna have to kill 10 parrot fish. Looks like, oh, hammerhead. Bro, we gotta take on the hammerhead too, why not? What's up, bud? Oh, okay, you like the thrash then, huh? You do, you do a, little, a little thrashing with your tail. That's all right. We're gonna be able to take this on. Here we go. Make a move, bro. You're not gonna make a move, I'll make a move. Dodge him, beautiful. Nowhere near as bad as the great white, dude. There it is. That's a W. All right, let's go up and get these parrot fish. These guys should be, should be fairly easy, right? Yeah, they're, they're small, they're kind of docile, kind of like a, a grouper or something. These guys are at the uh, at the bottom of the food chain. I feel bad for them, but everybody serves a purpose. You know what I mean? Ooh, look at this creeper here. Speak of the devil. Ooh, level one. It's just a baby. Little little one bite snack, bro. Look at this guy. Just one nom. Not much else is needed. Got one there. Another hammerhead over here. He must be. Feasting on these parrot fish the as well. Of parrot fish here Beautiful. have kept Sapphire Bay's local hammerhead healthy and strange. All right, looks like the hammerhead wants to fight, huh? I'm down, bro. I'm always down. I'm always down to, to get after it. Woo! Too slow, bro. Take a couple hits over here. Dodge the tail wag. Get him in the the jaws. Thrash him up. Just tearing them apart limb from limb, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right, where's our next objective? We haven't really been, uh, oh, we've got an adult adult grate here. Where's it at? Down here? Let's go do that. I was gonna say, we haven't been scanning. We haven't been, been really taking a look at much. So let's go down here and see if we can do some scanning. Find anything interesting, find some caches. I know we had a landmark back where we came from before that we didn't, we didn't finish up. That's okay. We'll go back and get it eventually. The rapacious rover is always swimming, searching for anything to satisfy the gluttony that is their defining trait. I mean, I'm always hungry. Got my sights set on uh, on the the landmark that was next to that beach where we were jumping up trying to get the uh, trying to get the license plate. Dude, I, I feel like so much has changed, bro. Like we're out here fighting great whites now, feeling pretty confident in ourselves. I love it. 
washed away. As is well known, volleyballs make way better friends than soccer balls, who will stab you in the back the first chance they get. <laughs> Old Gilligan's Island. Look at that cruise ship off in the distance, dude. I, I miss being on cruise ships. I miss traveling. I miss, I miss everything. Dude, this game is so gorgeous. This is over here. Cabana Breeze. Looks like we've got a, a restaurant inside a volcano look at thing. Kind of cool. Let me see. I mean, there's there's something undiscovered over here. Looks like it's a... Uh, it's a crate. But how are we going to get to said crate? Going to try swimming out and around. Kind of looks like it's inside the mountain, though. I feel like there's going to be some sort of a grate or something we have to go inside. Look how deep this gets. Hammerheads, swordfish down here. Those guys are, are crazy aggressive. Like one of the, I think one of the most aggressive sharks there are. They they do not play nicely, that's for sure. Here's the grate we were looking for. Let me be able to get through this. Beautiful. Just doing some more exploring here. I think this might be my favorite part of the game. I love the main missions and stuff and like fighting protein against the humans and like this one are a convenient and tasty way for sharks to increase their protein intake. Mm. There's another one. I don't know how to get to it though. Doing the main missions and fighting the humans and going up on land and all that kind of stuff is fun, but I, I kind of like just exploring these these undersea areas, dude. Dude, this is insane. We are so we are so deep in this cave system right now. The sea wolf remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. I've gone through 17 different pathways and stuff. I'm just trying to find a way out. I think this might be a way out. Usually the, the yellow is a way out. Nice. We started over here. We went in through this cave and we went underneath our grotto and everything all the way back over here. That's pretty crazy. We got like three chests. We got, uh, ooh, this is kind of a new area. I haven't, haven't seen much of this. We got three chests. We got a license plate. Maybe four chests or something like that. I don't know. Looks like we've got a new landmark. Centrifugative. Long a haven for small government ideologues, Port Clovis prides itself in its lax amusement park safety standards. Dude, this would be a pretty cool, like, artificial reef thing to dive. Get an old Ferris wheel. Oh, gosh, dude, the hammerheads from above. These guys are just so nasty, bro. But we can, we can take them on no problem. Look at that. These guys just don't want it. They don't want it. We're, we're, we're the big dog in town now, baby. Why don't you just keep on running? All right, so our next, uh, looks like our next mission is going to be Carnival Sins. We're going to consume 10 humans at the carnival. Can we eat the carnies with all the, the rigged games and everything? Where's Ring Toss at? I'm trying to go kill the dude on Ring Toss because I can never win that. Here we go. Dude, we just got we just got bit by something as we were coming up. The coast is a great place to rest and relax. And what's more restful than death? It's an eternal rest, baby. We are definitely gonna have the hunters after us. It's an opportunity to indulge in mindless gratuitous slaughter. Definitely gonna have the hunters after us here. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get all the humans before we leave. We're good. The fact that he was afraid of that Ferris wheel should have told me he wasn't never gonna be no shark. <laughs> oh, it makes me sad that the, the father and son can't get along and enjoy each other. Looks like we've got a, uh, a little cache here. Underneath this over here is gonna be a the importance of getting enough plate. minerals in her diet. Be able to grab this guy. All right. Uh, looks like we're pretty good with that. There is a, uh, ooh, hammerhead out. You guys want to go take on a hammerhead thing? We've also got a main mission over here and a main mission out here. I'm down for it. Let's, let's go fight a hammerhead. Fight a boss hammerhead and then, uh, we'll head off to some other main missions. Dude, look at us. Just rolling in so confident. I love it. We got that, that limp at our walk, bro. The equivalent of it. Look, look at the way we're shaking that tail, bro. It's like we, we know, we know we're the big dog. There's no question we're the big dog. Level 18 hunted hammerhead. He's gonna take the first swipe he missed. Gotta watch out for that tail. Gotta watch out for that tail again. Come back in. Woo. 
Okay, he got a hit there. He missed there, though. Dude, our, our dodging game has been on point. Oof. Dodged a little bit too early there. Beautiful. Really putting in work. Okay, he got a piece there. He's really weak, though. Woo. There it is. Perfectly executed. That should be the kill shot. That's what I'm talking about. Let's feast on some of that extra meat, get our health back. And we're gonna be able to head on to it. Ooh, well, we can potentially grab this. Where's that at? Down to our right. And down. Underneath the, the sunken ship here. In a little cavern. Dude, I would totally scuba dive this area. This looks amazing. From high that? fat fare like this to help fuel her reign of terror. <laughs> Reign of Terror is correct. All right, let's head over here. Where there's parrotfish, we usually find some other, uh, some other meat eaters, some other carnivores. Let's see if we can find anything over here. I'll do some scanning. Got another hammerhead. Not too worried about it though, dude. Okay, well, he, he took a bite out of us. There's another hammerhead there. I guess the hammerheads just have a They've got an inkling for, for parrotfish, huh? Okay, well, I was trying to bite the, the parrotfish, but the hammerhead got in the way. That's embarrassing, bro. How, how are you going to get done up like that? And then you're going to be beached? So you're just going to let me feast in peace? Wow. Not uh, not the smartest guy. All right, how are we going to get get this license plate is the question. I do believe we may have to take the walkway up like a, a normal person. Oh, okay. All right, well... That one's, that one's gonna be tough. There we go, baby. It's all about the angles. You have to have enough space to have the lunge for your, uh, your, your bite there. But here we go. All right, built in parrotfish. Oof. We had finished him before we got back on the, back in the water, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Got a parrotfish up here. I saw a crate over here, so we can definitely come and grab this. Beautiful, that's what I'm talking about. The bull shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding. Dude, I feel like we're just shooting through the ranks at this point, bro. We're finding so many great things. We're doing doing a good job. Got another hammerhead over here. Unless you want to meet the uh, the fate of your friend, I would recommend leaving me alone and just letting me eat in peace. I might eat a, a few of these humans just for fun, too. Just because it's... It's enjoyable. Look at this. Da -na, da -na, da -na, da -na, da Imagine being this hammerhead, bro. There's free food around here, and you're picking a fight with the biggest guy in the ocean. Not the biggest guy in the ocean yet, but at least in this area. Goodbye, bro. Good riddance. Necesito dos mas. And it looks like we've got two small ones right next to each other over here. So I'll munch, munch. And I'll munch, munch. Beautiful. Mission complete. Now we're going to go take on, uh, destroy the target. Looks like we've got a, a fishing boat that we're going to want to take down. Going to make our way to the next parrotfish feeding grounds. Here we go. This is it. Oh, boy. The fishing trawler. Seriously. Got him. Come on. I'm trying to, trying to get the guy up on the bow. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. We had to have the extra, the extra jump. I'm going to take down the whole trawler here. Just destroy the whole thing. There it is. Mission complete. And look at that. We've got some, some free snacks. Where are you at, Mr. Hunter? Oh, your boat sank? Let me just take you to the bottom. A bounty has been posted. The shark will have to be cautious until the hunters grow bored. Dude, that was pretty savage. We didn't even eat her. We just slowly sunk until she ran out of oxygen. My goodness. Okay. Uh, looks like we've got a, another one over here, and then we're going to make our way to the next main mission. We're going to have to turn around and go back by these hunters, though. They deserved it, though. Like, these, these people, like, I'm not going to do that. To a normal beachgoer, I'll eat you up real quickly, make it short and sweet, you know, take care of business. But if you're a hunter, you're trying to give me a slow and painful death, you're trying to, trying to, death? 
Did I just say death? I meant death. You're trying to, ooh, we got a Mako over here. He's gonna want something, isn't he? I knew it, dude. He's level 10, come on, bro. Get with the program. Things have changed. I'm bigger and better and stronger, bro. I'm roided out. You can't do anything, you can't compete. Beautiful. But, um, yeah, they're, they're trying to cut my fins and, and do all kinds of crazy stuff to me. I might as well, uh, might as well make it interesting on them. Is this the cruise ship? Bro, this is a cruise Port ship. Clovis has grown bored of the hunt, leaving our shark Queen to Barry find one. Day. Got another cruise ship out behind it. This is sick. I kind of want to go check out. Like, let's let's go look at the the giant propellers and stuff. See if they have those in there. These ships, they're just they're so massive, dude. It's it's so cool to think about something that big on the water. Look at this. This is insane. I love it. All right. Anyway, off to our objective. Looks like we've already got a marked. It's that fishing boat out there. And we're gonna go take him down. Not putting up with this shark hunting business. Scaly Pete knows I'm coming after him and I'm, I'm not stopping until it's done. That's one down. Shoot. I don't wanna get, I don't wanna get stuck on this thing. I can't just attack the trawler from behind. And might as well. Oh shoot! Might as well try to get try to get the lady on the bow. Come on, man, dude! It, it actually makes it when you have these big boats in the way. It makes it kind of hard. I'm just gonna take down the boat then. All right, look at him. Are you scared? Are you scared? Because I'm killing you and all your friends. All right, listen. Shh. 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 I've got a bone to pick. I've got, uh, you know, the death of my mom on my mind. So uh, we are definitely going to take uh, take revenge where we can. So here we go. We're up to our next uh, our next little little feeding ground. We've got another parrotfish challenge. Going to oh shoot, we bypassed him. Nearly thought he escaped with his life. Not quite. We're gonna feed up on 10 of these guys. Just kinda keep on working. We got hammerheads off in the distance. I've only seen one great white. That first one that we saw right at the very, very start of the episode. And it's, it's been missing since. What is this? What in the world? An Illuminati thing? Confirmed. Like most American cities, the founders of Port Clovis were Freemasons. And probably Illuminati, who congregated in secret UFO bases to perform Luciferian blood rituals. The bull shark is known to be a voracious, if hardly discriminating, eater. Voracious, baby, I love it. All right, there's one more there. We need. Oh, hello. The that's, shark that's remains cute. the same perfectly designed predator that swam the oceans when Tyrannosaurus Rex ruled the land. See, that's what's so crazy, dude. So much time has passed, and these guys remain essentially unchanged. I mean, obviously there have been small adaptations over the years, but like these guys and, and alligators and stuff, it's just crazy to think about, about how long they've been around. So, uh-oh, we've got the, uh, the apex hammerhead. Put the hammer down, it says. It's gonna be back towards the middle. I say let's go, uh, let's go consume 12 humans at the, uh, Cabana Breeze Beach Resort and Tiki Bar. Just kind of enjoying their vacation, enjoying the sunshine. Spent a lot of money to come out here and be, you know, doted on by this resort, and so uh, we're we're gonna make sure that it's a vacation they never forget, or never even have the opportunity to remember, baby. I'm gonna try to get every human before they get to shore. There's one and two. We got this guy. That's three. Looks like they're swimming out to sea. This is four. This is five. Beautiful. Look at this. Just. Peeking, jumping up over the ocean. No, 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 you don't. 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 Absolutely not. Another shark. We got a shark hunt coming in. We got a bunch of hunters. Dude, this is this is gonna be tough. I just really, like I said, I wanna I wanna kill all the humans. Shoot. The problem is, is we can't. Woo. We can't really dodge when we're eating. Beautiful. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Got him. Okay. 
There's a couple left. Oh my goodness, dude. Look how agile we are, bro. Look at us. Look at us. Then we're gonna take on the hunters next too. Shoot, we missed somebody there. All right, is that everyone? There might be one more. One more. Nope. That's everyone, bro. We just took down a whole beach. All right, we're gonna work on that. Uh, so if you guys remember, it's not in here, it's in, in here. If we take a look at our infamy, We've got to work on this. We're on number three, Pookie Paul. I'd like to take down at least a couple here. We haven't messed with these guys in a while, so this uh, this should be fun. We'll try to take these guys down. I mean, these guys are, are definitely getting hits on us, but I feel like we're eating them just as fast and we're, we're keeping all of our health. Beautiful. Took down the whole boat right there. I don't know why my nose is itching so much. So you're supposed to, to, if you're ever getting attacked by a shark, you're supposed to kind of punch him in the nose and poke him in the eyes and in the gills. Just for future reference in case you guys ever need it. Hopefully you don't. Pookie Paul's hunting us. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. That's the what I was looking for. Pookie Paul. Pookie Paul. Let's go, baby. He's got his guitar. Now he's got his spear gun. And I'm going to go, I'm going to go take him out right away. Got his driver. Got him. That's Pookie. Good night. Mineral Despite digestion, new evolution. Efforts, the aquatic beast refuses to Dude, we're just toying with our food at this point. This is great. We're like throwing them up and grabbing them again. Sometimes some of the animations are pretty sick. Here we go. Woo! What's up, buddy? My goodness, dude, that is so sick. Coming up from the depths on a, a big charge like that is amazing. Level 19 reach, that's what I'm talking about. We are just absolutely going ham here. Candyman Curtis is hunting us. What's up, Candyman? He's coming in on these the jet boats. Phenom, Candyman Curtis. Oh, he's he sees us. Oh, he's got an AR, okay. Homeboy is homeboy is serious. Ooh, okay, we gotta we gotta be careful here. We gotta be careful here. Where's Candyman Curtis at? He's on uh shoot. He's on the big, the big ski boat, I think. Got him! Picked him out of the bunch. We got a new adrenal gland. Okay. We gotta, we gotta take a little bit of time off here, I think. I, I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident about that. If you take a look at our, our infamy, I mean, it'd be kind of nice to try to get maybe one more. But at the same time, I feel like we don't have to push it. You know what I mean? I I, I think we could take some time. I, I I think I think we go back. I think we go way back. Well, we should we should go grab this for sure. But I, I I think we go back. I think we check out these new upgrades that we got, and then worry about the Apex Predator. I don't want to take it too far. It's starting to get kind of intense. I actually really like that though. We'll we'll have to maybe make that a thing. Towards the end of of each episode, we'll do one or two. So we got that beautiful work. Now we're gonna head. Uh, let's head back here. This instantized protein makes a great between meal supplement, giving the shark the energy she needs to put on serious mass. Oh, we're we're putting on mass, baby. We're eating all them humans. It's working out pretty nicely for us. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, we have a payback's a beach. What what mission is this? Oh, it's this one. Okay. I'm down for it. The powers of society have retaliated with deterrent action. But mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance. Imagine seeing a shark come not from the water, but over the rocks, bro. Are you kidding me right now? Let's get back in the water and get some oxygen. Looks like we've got more, more people up on the beach here. We need 15 humans, bro. 15 of them. These hunters are going to be all over us. In their place. Hunters ensure they'll stay in their lane, so we don't have a Planet of the Apes situation on our hands. Take all these guys out, we're good. Then we can we can dive down, and we can we can move on to the next area. We only need five more. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. There's no way they're gonna track us all the way. Oh, baby, the double backflip. This guy. This one. And now we need, uh, we need just a couple more. Just two more. Dude, I love that. Come up from the bottom. Yes, sir! Can you imagine? That'd actually be kind of fun for a half second. Not at all. ...habitat of the speckled seaside sparrow. But, you know, 
they went extinct in 2007. All right, I'm going. I'm going to our. Uh, I'm going to our, our thing here. Let's set an objective on it. Let's get down there. And let's go evolve. The show right. returns once again to her safe haven. Sweet. So we're gonna be able to check out our uh, our upgrades here. Let's see what we've got going on for our evolutions. So we have, uh, oh man, we've got a lot to choose from now. Mineral digestion. Uh, this evolution increases how many minerals you gain and health you heal by feeding. Plus 10% mineral and plus 10% health on feeding. That's actually pretty good. And if you upgraded it a ton, obviously that would, that would be solid. We've also got this, increases your speed when you're badly injured. I mean, that's not bad, but I feel like we're usually pretty smart about it. So I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling solid without that. Um, I'm thinking, I mean, we have the extra health. That's good. Land speed, survival time. See, those, both of those are pretty good. I'm thinking if we, let's, let's switch to that instead of the land speed and let's upgrade that a couple of times. I feel like if we upgrade this a ton, see, we're up to 25. We can, we can really get up there. Plus 30%. Mineral and plus 30% health on feeding. I just feel like I feel like that's gonna be That's gonna be solid. I don't know. Well, we'll see we're gonna rock with that for now But that actually does that sounds pretty good Think about maybe upgrading our health a bit more 350 and 12,000. Yeah, I'm down for that And that's gonna be max level now. So we've got 600 added to our max health and plus 60 boat crew not back resistance uh, We can upgrade our jaws and stuff should we, should we try doing a little bit more of that? I'm down for that. I feel like our bone teeth are really good, dude. So I'm, I'm gonna rock with that. Those are up to gold. We've got our fins here. We can upgrade these at least once. Dude, the blue crystals are the hardest thing to come by. All right, beautiful. So we've got some nice upgrades there. Starting to look pretty menacing. I'd like to, to add like a, a head and body uh, addition, and I think we're gonna be able to do that as soon as we take on this, uh, this, this new apex predator. So let's go take a look at, uh, well, at the hammerhead. Going home today. Let's go uh, lay the hammer Another down. Hunt comes to a close. Here we go. Go kill the apex predator. Oh, he's got a bonehead. Alright. Let's see what you got, bro. Level 21. Obviously, dodging is going to be in our best ability here, our best interest. Whew. Watch out, Trev. Dodge him and blast him, bro. That's that's the plan. Okay. Got us there a bit. We got him back. Watch out for that tail whip. Oof. Beautiful. He's down to half health. Oh, he got us there. He got us there. Dude, he's just... The problem is he's really quick. There it is. Good, good dodge. Get some licks, Trev. Let's go. Come back at him. We're gonna get one more dodge. And that's gonna be GG. Mm, bone body. Overcoming her opponent's clearly superior depth perception. Wow. That was insane. Hammerheads could actually see 360 degrees, if you guys didn't know that. Little fun fact for you. So uh, we've got that. I mean, let's, before we go take a look at what Pete's doing, I wanna go back. I wanna, I wanna see this, this bone body upgrade. I think that's gonna be a major upgrade, dude. Ooh, albino swordfish. Don't mind if I do. I mean, he's not, he's not gonna like it, but he doesn't have to. Oh, that made me kind of sad. Screeching in pain. All right, so we're back the here. The of the grotto enables the shark to approach the world with greater confidence and effectiveness. Bone body. When activated, this evolution gives you the bone crusher ability. It is recharged by biting or consuming creatures. Bone crusher turns you into a bone battering ram, allowing you to shatter boats like glass. Plus three damage reduction, plus 5% mass, plus 20% ramming damage, and plus 5% damage resistance. On lunge, inflict 40 damage on anything within two meters. Nice, all right. We're gonna go ahead and equip that. Body evolutions have a special ability. Charge the agility by the ability by eating prey. Each unique ability, once activated, only lasts a short time. LB to activate. Dude, that's, that's pretty, oh my goodness, bro. What is happening? What? 
Our cute little shark is becoming demonic. That is terrifying. Wow. With the purple eyes and everything, that is insane. Okay, so now we are gonna go, uh, we're gonna go see what, what old Pete's up to, Scaly Pete. Let me get out of here and let's, let's go do it. Dude, look at our markings now. Oh my goodness. Hold on, but before we go, before we go see Pete, I, I gotta try this out at least, at least once, you know what I mean? We're gonna, we're gonna try it on a boat here. Seal dodged me, but we're gonna get him, we'll get this turtle here. We're getting the plus 30 to our minerals here, which is nice. I'm trying to get our LB maxed out. Do we have it? We might have, it looks like the, like the very, very top is kind of missing a little bit, so we might, we might need one more. Grab this guy. Okay. Active is ready. Now. We need to find ourselves a nice boat. I'm kind of thinking a, a slightly bigger boat. I want like a big fishing boat or something. Um, hmm. No fishing boats to be seen. I did see ones. Oh, there's a, a smaller ski boat here. Screw it. Wow, dude. <laughs> What? Did you guys see when we did the lunge and it just instantly destroyed the boat? I think we were doing a ton more damage when we were biting it too. That is insane. And you could see like all the, the little scales and stuff over our body. Wow, dude. I mean, we're definitely not as beautiful. Like I, I, I love sharks. I've got an appreciation for sharks. We look a little bit more zombie-esque now, but I guess that's the price you gotta pay, bro. My goodness. Back at the bayou. As twilight falls, Pete is in an uncharacteristically quiet mood. It's a dangerous job. It's not something unknown to me. What well, you want to see dangerous? Look at that, yeah? That's PT-522. My daddy crewed that off of Guadalcanal. It was Navy. Gunner's mate. Pacific Theater. But when I was 16 men, came back a day later with three. Man survives all that. Was to die here in the Gulf. What happened to him? Boy, you don't like me saying this. But my daddy, his granddaddy, was killed by a mega shark. I, I, I'm sorry. He's talking about a prehistoric fish that went extinct 2.6 million years ago. I seen it. Now, you were a kid. Ain't they discover new animals all the time? Sort of. Well, not, not exactly. In lots of cases, they're just corrections of species with different names. Also stuff like misspelling. But I just say, maybe there are things in the water that ain't in your textbook. Stick around. Maybe you learn a thing or two this summer. Those things are growing. Whatever. Those things are gonna surprise you. The ocean you. is vast. The majority of it still remains unmapped and unexplored by mankind. Perhaps Kyle shouldn't be so quick to dismiss his father's fevered ramblings. I couldn't agree more, Mr. Announcer, and to be honest, the ocean is getting ready to fight back, baby. Let me get, uh, let me get powered up. Let me get our full ability here, and it looks like we are gonna go challenge Pete and Kyle for the first time here. They're in a little fishing boat out there, and uh, we're, we're gonna go take them on. I'm gonna make sure we're fully prepared. We're gonna eat seals and do, do whatever we have to do to make sure we've got our powers active, and uh, here we go, baby. This is it. Scaly Pete's boat. That's the one what took my hand, all right. Get yourself ready, boy. Here we go. Now we playing with power. All right. So we got some hunters we got to deal with. I'm gonna go ahead and and start doing this. Shoot, dude, he's. I mean, he's he's tough. Got his cage down. Uh oh. Shoot. They got reinforcements, but they, I'm not. I'm not, dude. We're we're good. We're good. His, his boat is, is hurting here. Bro, look at this new ability. It was just insane. Look at this. 
Took him down. Took him down. Just like that. That's what I'm talking about. Scaly Pete remains resolute. Where's she at? I don't know. Ah! Oh! Big enough to toss him now, eh? Oh! Can! Get that can! Down sir! Pique et toi! Cass, no! No! Get back in the water! Oh no! We're about to blow! Get the f off! Forget it, boss! He's just a boss! What remains of the boat lurches, then slowly sinks to the bottom of the sea. Bro! The shark is now an elder, and thus begins a new battle against systemic age discrimination. I'm speechless. I'm happy because I feel like Scaly Pete does need payback, but I don't want to kill his son. I mean, we didn't kill his son. I hope his son's all right. We're, we're going to have to find out in the next episode. I believe uh, next episode we are going to be moving on to the next area, which is going to be Prosperity Sands. So, uh, I mean, let me know, guys. We could, uh, could maybe do a, a double upload today if you guys were interested. Drop some likes in the video. Let me know that's something you'd be into. But dude, that was insane. So we we have a um we have a new a new what's it called? How do I get to it? We've got a new a new was it an organ that we got? Fat digestion. This evolution increases how many fats you gain and health you heal by feeding. Interesting. I mean that sounds pretty good, but I, f I feel like I'd rather I'd rather get the bonus minerals. So wow. All right, we look absolutely menacing. That is, that is a, a terrifying looking shark right there. Fought a great white stay, fought Scaly Pete for the first time. We're up to 5.8 meters and we're now classified as an elder. So yeah, if you guys want to see what happens next, if you want a second upload stay, I can definitely make that happen. Just let me know, drop a like on the video and I uh, appreciate you guys being here. Peace out.